Hi everybody, welcome to Richard's Motor Sales. I'm Steve and today we're looking at a 2011 pre-owned Pleasure Way. Canadian built Class B, a real Class B of real high quality coach. Great touring and drivable size and this is a uh, 20 foot XL series model on a Ford platform with 24,500 miles approximately on it and it has there's a reason why these are $130,000 range new it has a ton of cool features on it and today we're going to take a few highlights uh, show you a few highlights rather so we'll go inside by the way this is their gold full body paint which is interesting on a B that these guys would go to that extreme to have exterior body paint done so well um, and it is uh, mid-march here in Michigan and it needs an exterior body wash but a very pretty unit Saskatoon Canada is Pleasure Way Industries and uh, they're one of the top two manufacturers of Class B's on the planet and there's a reason for it so you'll notice patio awning is a box awning on the outside so it fits well with the radius design of the roof and our side entry door by the way first let's take a look at passenger side leather seats in the cabin cockpit rather and how clean this unit is very nice we do have uh, backup and side vision monitors to uh, watch from the uh, display inside those are side vision way ahead of their time in 2011 and let's take a look inside so this floor plan is um, a rear power leather sofa that makes into a bed and um, it makes one big sleeper all the way across the back here uh, right now we have the sofa up in sitting mode and we have uh, our table in between and then side dinette seats kind of made up um, a few things they've done that are interesting this has a uh, duotherm cool cat heat pump so when we have electricity or we're using our 2800 watt onboard generator we can generate AC or electric heat from here which is nice it also has an auto ignition 16,000 BTU a gas furnace like a camper would have and um, They've had to figure out every square inch of storage in these. Um, we have a cover in this storage door, but it's usable regardless. And then these corner cabinets are really clever. You open the door, pull towards you, and both pieces of the hinge cabinet come. So it's very deep. Our front uh, Velcroed um, curtain is what's in there currently. So storage on all sides, very nice. A little bit feels like an Airstream interior because we have radius sidewalls. Um, oh, and then this was ordered with um, their entertainment center package and this is what it looks like. It's a 19 inch Vizio, built in really nice. And this storage door actually opens and there's storage behind it. Um, DVD, CD, AM, FM and um, overhead and then this switch here is to uh, raise and lower the power bed in the back which is great so it's not just a jackknife it's a power sleeper I'll see if I can get a picture this is hard to photograph but back to front so it's a rear sofa slash sleeping bed and here's our side bathroom these are actually real Corian countertops and we have a shower head medicine cabinet lights in here and um, tub surround material or fiberglass rather a foot pedal flush porcelain china toilet and it's big enough to get in it's not big doors and drawers with waterproof fronts on them very smart and a perimeter radius curtain if you wondered so we have a side bathroom that'll really do 
everything. And um, let's see if I can show you the biggest wardrobe in the unit. So as we head from the bathroom and go forward in this, there is a real large closet with a clothes hanging bar in it that can be used for about anything but primarily wardrobe. Above that, uh, here's the convection oven. I have it covered with a sale price sign, but there's our convection. It's a sharp. Um, it's called a grill too, which is interesting. So it'll brown and bake and grill and roast and do uh, <laughs> microwave features as well. I look at our cockpit again from the top down. It actually has levels built in and um, uh, this dashboard and so on would be Ford truck or heavy duty van factory but cruise control power windows locks mirrors entry assist handles on both sides really comfortable this is a real supple leather and there's our um, backup monitor side vision blind spot monitor as well so we have front air and heat of course which usually in something this size is adequate and then we have rear air and heat all the way in the back as well as a gas furnace auto ignition so I'll get back and show you here's our cockpit sky view windows are really cool with curtains natural lights important I don't have any lights on in here and then this pull down I'll back up again is part of the nose the cap of this bot the body is uh, it housed so they made use of that space and we have 353 hours on our Cummins Onan 2800 watt generator. It's a gas generator. Monitor panel. And this is an auto ignition water heater switch. Um, we do have an acoustic insulated ceiling, which is cool. There's so much stuff on this. I'll try to give you some bullet point highlights. But um, LED lights in the ceiling. And then um, a 12 inch thermostat power fan which will move all the air in the unit like this displace it certainly in less than a minute uh, here's our three-way um, electric gas or 12 volt refrigerator there are outlets in here there's storage certainly in here and doors and drawers um, here's some of our flyers we had made up and then it's got kind of an in two things integrated but into the Corian uh, we have a really heavy sink lid stainless steel sink hot and cold running water a backsplash is stainless and then our, our range top goes back and exposes another sale price sign but it's a two burner two burner cooktop range really cool unit a cute unit a very nice driving size made to go to Alaska and back made to go to football games and back made to go to Florida and back but we have hot water we're really I'll sum it up by saying we're really fully self-contained in this unit so we have um, hot water refrigerator furnaces air conditioners a patio awning we can stay a long time in a unit like this and we still can park it in a conventional parking lot um, it's about the length of a um, of a big suburban so very interesting but really cool very good condition um, I know I'm I know I'm forgetting a few things on this unit it has so much uh, I'll read a couple highlights to you that's an 11 foot Fiamma uh, armless awning which is cool so it doesn't have legs that come down and um, 3.8 cubic foot refrigerator the three-way I wouldn't have remembered these things unless I read read that um, it's a uh, four-speed automatic trans transmission with a 5.4 liter V8 Ford with a 373 rear end axle it's got a 3,500 pound tow rating on the back and a tire pressure monitoring system by the way the holding tanks are interesting on this they are uh, 30 gallons of fresh water in a unit this size I mean this is just a little bigger and certainly a little more comfortable than a truck camper but 
it's not a huge unit to house 30 gallon tanks and that's really clever how they've done that uh, 26 gallon gray water which is both sinks in the shower and 12 gallon toilet tank will actually last a couple uh, a little while before they'll have to empty um, 34 pounds of LP gas so that's like one big 30 pound cylinder in a travel trailer to kind of convert it over the king bed in the back is 81 front to back by 73 wide so it's it's really pretty darn close to a king bed measurement and that's about it so really cool unit it's probably a lot of times the best way to buy something that's over a hundred thousand dollars is for fifty nine nine three or four years later so the depreciation is done and it's pretty dramatic and uh, these folks took real good care of it so uh, that table by the way will come up and the pedestal will go in between both both captains chairs in the front so that's a good look that's a pretty quick look but look at the pictures online we've got and um, stop by and take a test drive this is a fantastic driving unit and uh, would suit a lot of folks for um, who don't want to drive a 35 foot bus or a bigger class C very nice thanks again for your time go RVing and focus on your family and uh, God bless you guys